thank you for that very robust opening speech. To oppose the motion, I shall in a moment call Mr Connor Morgan, and I know you'll give him a warm welcome, and I just inform members of the Youth Parliament that Connor will say some words in Irish Gaelic, and he will then, for all of our benefit, repeat the meaning in English. Mr Connor Morgan. Uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Balkwalcha is more an inner dam, a bay and an shusser. Sula Gukur to August, to August Shula a Gilaga, Bawaikidam Bukas, a Gabal Lat Asan Jasha. Now, for those of you who aren't 100% fluent in Irish, I apologise. <laughs> uh, loosely translated, that was thank you, Mr. Speaker. Fellow members, it is a great honour to stand here before you and to have the opportunity to address you in Irish, and I would like to thank all of you for the opportunity and the respect that you've shown me. £70,000, the amount of debt that a prospective medical student will face. £32,000, the amount of debt that the average student will face should the cap on tuition fees be lifted, as was indicated in the spending review. Let me put this into perspective for you now. The average wage in the UK each year is £25,543. Now, let me ask you something. Is it fair that in raising the cap on tuition fees, education will become a privilege only for those who can afford it? Is it just that the current members of Parliament, many of whom had an edu- a university education paid for by the state, now expect us, the innocent and disenfranchised in this economic mess, to pay for the mistakes that they have made? Is it right that, considering we, as young people, are, consider- are constantly being told that we are the future, our future appears to us to be a burden of debt and uncertain job prospects? We are the representatives of young people. We believe education is a right everyone should be entitled to. We do not believe that wealth or class should play a factor in this, and we most certainly do not believe that we should be expected to begin our lives trapped beneath a crushing burden of debt of up to £70,000. In fact, this view is also held by 95 per cent of young people, all of whom oppose lifting the cap on tuition fees. We do not feel that the young people whom these proposals will affect have been adequately consulted, and that those in power have chosen not only to maintain the price in education, and thus choosing for our lives to begin in enormous debt but they are choosing to worsen an already entirely unjust set of circumstances. What kind of society do we live in when one in three young people will choose their university based on how much it will cost them? What kind of education system allows the poor to be left behind? What kind of decision makers not only disregard the views of young people, but also make rash decision, dis, I can never pronounce this word right, decisions that will negatively affect the lives of many? We must stand up, we must be heard, and we must send a clear mission clear message to decision makers that we matter and that our education must never be compromised. Thank you. Thank you and congratulations.